Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips and in this tutorial I'll be looking at drawing an angle that can be used to produce a worksheet on angles or test questions. I'd first like to produce this element here and I'll do that by drawing an angle in a circle. First click the circle tool, control shift to drag around to a circle. Might take a little bit of uh, getting used to. Then I'm going to ensure my snapping tools are on, including this snap to an item's rotation centre. If I click the Bezier Pen tool and hover around here, yes you can see there's the centre of the circle. Click, hold down control to force a horizontal line, click when I reach the circumference, press enter. Do the same for the 90 degree part of the angle, click, control, click and enter. I'm going to put uh, an arrow head on this on, on both uh, parts of the angle by bringing up the fill and stroke menu. Click this icon here and change the start arrow to perhaps that one and the end arrow to Let's see, perhaps that one. And I'm just going to thicken up that uh, stroke by looking at stroke style and changing that to 0 0.5 and enter and increase the size of the arrowheads, which I wanted anyway. Now if I look, if you look here you can see the arrow, if I control wheel, mouse wheel to zoom in, you can see the arrowhead is protruding beyond the circumference. If that's a nuisance to you, click the arrowhead in the nodes tool and hold down control and move that in perhaps to the centre of the circumference. Mouse wheel zoom out and then zoom, control mouse wheel to zoom in again. Click that node, control and drag it down to about the middle there. Select tool, zoom out and there we have it. You can see, I think this is uh, these two arrows are joined together. Yep. If they're not, you can select the node tool, or select them first, then select the node tool, drag around that vertex, and click this icon here to join them. If for some reason yours doesn't join, the next thing to do is to produce the angle marker at the centre. I click the circle and an ellipsis icon. I might zoom in down here because I'd like to get uh, that corner there. It's not snapping, it's snapping to I think a rotation centre of some other object, whether it's the... yeah, look I'm not sure. Oh there it is there. There's a node, if I click there, control shift and draw a circle. Might just mouse wheel zoom out a bit. Click the select tool again, I'm just going to control shift and increase that size a bit to there. Change the colour to black by shift clicking black. Now going back to the circle icon, I can turn it into a segment by clicking this, a closed segment or an open segment or an arc by clicking this icon. But uh, it's a full circle which is a special example of an arc but you can drag around like that. I don't want the outside. I want to see if I can, perhaps if I can reflect that. So I'll click the select tool, reflect it, either one, and back to the circle tool. And maybe, yep, that lets me drag to there. And now I can drag this one back to there. If you drag inside it's an arc. If you drag outside it's a segment. So here, yeah, back to arc, and make sure I'm dragging inside, let go, I can zoom in on that, I thought it wasn't super accurate, so again if I select it, click the circle tool, and just move these controllers to the middle of the line so that that looks better, control mouse wheel, 
zoom out and you can see I've got a template for a neat angle. Once I've got that, I'm going to drag a marquee around it all, Control G to group. Then if I zoom out, mouse wheel zoom out, and Control D to duplicate, and Control drag, I can draw a copy of that. If I want to change the angle, this is the good part, I can then select the, select the select tool, click on the arrows, and either ungroup or I can go control click to select just that arrow in the nodes tool and I can drag that around to wherever I want to want perhaps somewhere there I can drag this one over to there and the arc I can move that around as well Click, uh, control click on it if it's part of a group just to isolate the one item back to the circle tool and I can control where they drag to each end like so select tool control zoom in and that's pretty good so that's how you can produce lots of different angles I can continue to draw angles in this manner and when I'm ready click on the red circle, if it's part of a group, control click, otherwise you'll delete everything, then delete, control click, delete, once more, control click, delete. Now I've modified uh, ten of these in different ways and numbered them and put a heading on a worksheet to end up with this worksheet. As you can see, they're pretty neat and uh, very clear. That completes this tutorial. Once again, thanks for watching.